Hello? Hi, hi on YouTube, hope you enjoyed about the show today. Today's the new Mac Mac Knight deck pre old Mac Knight for for post affinity cut affinity code. Oh Oh, oh. So the ones are not Meg Knights are so we've got the Enter Man here O'Neill's and Rainbow Dragon. This is just for the engine for Rainbow Neos. Yes, this deck is very good on Darina. This deck's idea is just to wipe the board and absolutely not like the opponent and then also oh, counter out the opponent's mistakes they always do with Mech Knight. So like the time with two count to two monsters in sync. Like the summit Cat, like set one of the same colors of monsters, and you're like, oh, well, I've been cool. That's what's so good about this deck. This deck literally does that all the time. So these are just garnets most of the time. But like most of the time, it, they're garnets. But if you draw them, it's okay. You can use them for the fusion. It's perfectly fine if you have to draw them. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, with rainbow neos, neos. That's fine too. We end up drawing that too. But rest of the time, you're perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. Next is. Well, let's see. Well, uh, you need this card just to send off for a green suit, just so you can and uh, get the well, let's see, a session set, and then also you can just search any well, let's see card when this card's been special summoned. Yep, so that uh, is good. Uh, this card's just a nice and standard. It's not news for anything else. It's just good in general. It's just good to have the grave in general. So it's just a good war in general if you have to end up summoning it. But it's not very, not very reliable. This card. This is the. Then the next is Mech Knight August the Green. So now there's no August in this deck. Okay, the only news in this card for the Mech Knight bit at all and the World Lexi bit. You send that card to the grave. Then you're stepping up. And doing your OTK this way, and it's very easy and very scary when this deck starts starts playing loads of damage in, and it just it just being very aggressive. This deck is this is the kind of deck. It's very aggressive, okay. And you can see of how many times you have to win by, and so you have so you sum this. You so you have this at three because this is your normal sum of the whole entire deck. This is your normal summon, You don't need anything else for this deck. This deck you start on a card. And your standard at the same time, it always will get you what you need for the Mech Knight, or you need to set up for your scale, or you need to set up for your console, you need to set up to make prayer plant to make your other negate other OTK hits. Yep. And then your next cards are Mech Knight, free Mech Knight. So this was at free, yep. Yeah. Next is Mech Knight Blue Sky. The, the search of this deck, you can just press something at any time. You've got a card for the same column, you just go whack. Yep. Yeah. Which is cool. You just get any monsters in the same class. You can get two, one. I never had the three, but you can do. So that doesn't come up very often, but it's good. This card's always handy. You could always special summon these cards. You never need to normal summon it. It's always in your hand to just go whack on your pack, which is cool, which is good. Yeah. Then we've got Mech Knight Integral. Just to, just the move, man. Just to keep moving things. And this time, sometimes this is a card you. You start with just a force of negation and then you just move to the next column. Yep, which is cool, which is good. Yep, which is cool. It's a good card, it's a good beta, and that's all Met Knights are. They're all good beaters, they're all good OTK machines, and they'll just hit you really hard. Yep, next is Me Mech Knight Orange Set Sunset. Okay, now this card's just a good wall in general. This is a pop your back row. This this is just another name most of the time, right? Which is cool, which is good. Um, you won't use it very often as a monster to stay on the field. It does stay in battle, but you know, you just use it just another name, which is cool, which is good. Next one is Free Met Knight Purple Night Bell. This is your best. This is one of your cards just get to the other Met Knight engine. Sometimes this is your star card, and then you'll get to a green sort of blue sky or indigo or any midnight you're missing you need to need to start your combo and then start popping those mon get those monsters and it's this sometimes a bit and it always will come back so it always that free it always just come back and just place itself somewhere which is cool which is good yeah which is good about this card it's level eight so it makes it stat good for this then we got number then we got mech knight 
Red Moon, this is just your monster removal, yep, just spans one midnight in your grave and then you can you can pop one monster in the same column, which is cool. This is one of your beaters. This is a this is your pop. This is your destroyer. Most of the time, this is most of the time one news card. You need just be a beater or just just remove cards in general. Oh, which is cool, which is good. Next is actually the kaiju engine we put in this deck too. So we got two gamma still. Yep, just to just to get over monsters, just to make it easy in the columns though. Yes, column placement is very important in this deck and. And you get the point in that column. You need a point in for it with with what you need, what you have to do with this deck, which is cool, which is neat. Next is Dokura, just the same thing, but to be a bigger beta. And yes, it doesn't matter if you have this card or any of the cards you use. It's just a good beta to have with it. To have another big monster to have with you. Then Jishikyo. Next is Jishikyo, just to be another big monster. Yep. And it helps you out in those situations. This is just another piece that you need to summon with and stuff like that. You only play four types because you don't want too many to you don't want to see them, which is cool, which is good. Next, now it's the monsters, which is only twenty monsters. Next are spells, interfusion, just to summon uh one uh, a thousand iron strict, and then just to go second, just to build more just to make the combo a bit more easier, just a nice ascender, the end of the day, which is cool. Foolish Bell, just to send more cards to the grave, just to get you set up for your turn, just to get you set up, just to get you ready to go. Yep. Two Lightning Storm, just the right back row, just the right monster, whenever you need to use it. Sometimes you don't need it, but some most of the time you do, but sometimes you don't. So it really depends what, what situation you're in. So, it's a, so, yes, you use this all the time, but in you know, some situations you don't need it, which is cool, which is good. We use mech, and then we have World Legacy Memory, just on a Met Knight Strength and Death, but then you can't summon anything else from Met Knight. This is news your last piece, so that's why I want. You don't see it too often, but you see it often enough to 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 have when you need it, which is cool, which is good, because sometimes you don't draw any Met Knight and you need that special summon, which is cool, which is good. Yeah. And then you play one Met Legacy, well, the session. The reason why you only play one, so you don't draw it, which is cool. You just set it from the deck from Ip. Which is cool, which is good, and just set up your combo that way. Just set up your OTK that way, which is good, which is cool. Next, we play free card you slumber, just to pop, just to destroy all monsters, and then you can search it on next turn and all that stuff. Yes, the other two might end up being dead, but that's okay. You can use them for far for the Met Knight, so you can use them for that sort of thing. So, yes, they might be end up being dead, but it's good either way. Yeah, then, um, Mind control just to take across the monster, just the force negation, just the force or force that, just to get in your right position, just to force out negation, go second with this and all the other stuff, yeah. Pot desires just to get the extra two draws and most of this deck is at three. There's a couple pieces at one, but you wanna make sure you do it when 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 you don't you ever plant Cobra first. So you kinda of wanna make sure you do it with the OTK last. You want to make sure you got your combo off first before you do this, which is cool, which is good. Yep, good. Yep. Then we play one trading because there's there's a there's about there's a few trading targets. There's like there's about five trading, so trading's pretty good. So if you there's quite a few trading targets, so drawing this deck to rip on just to make this deck more consistent, just to get to the OTK a little bit easier and go off a little bit harder than you think. Yep. Next is. Neo season. This just set up player plant over Cobra, and and Rainbow Neo gets beaten somehow. You can just attack it. But most of the time, you could win because the Rainbow Neo is so big it wipes the whole board, and they haven't got much left at all, which is cool, which is good. You make every single game with this, which is good, which is cool. Next is the spell. Next is now the traps. So we play six traps. So we play two equally matched. Yep, just to wipe the whole board, just to go second, force a negation. Just to be in the good situation to make sure they don't to, to force out everything you need to with this card. It's powerful, it's really good, and you can just use it when you're from straight from hand, which is good, which is cool. It turns just to make it easy to go second, just have a negation on your on your opponent's turn, just have a hand trap. Perhaps. Yes, this deck really is really slow with hand traps, which is cool. cool. As you see, it doesn't really pay hand traps because we don't really need hand traps in this deck, which is good, which is cool. Next is World Legacy Secrets. Secrets, the Sons of Met Knight, 
or any level 5 or higher from the grave and then, then if the midnight you just summon that card that come and negate it which is good which is cool which is good there's quite a lot of midnight as you can see there's quite a good amount of engine on midnight which is good this this is just helps out your negation when you need it which is good which is cool next is your extra deck one uh, thousand eyes strict just to suck the poet's monster just to go second and then out another negation just to make another monster and then you can just do more combos for days which is good which is cool for the more OTKs yep then we play rainbow news just to do the OTK to wipe the whole ball of monsters or spells or send cards back to your opponent's deck yes that does come in sometimes but not very often you mainly would want to use it when you send monsters back to the deck because that's much better to have them in the deck and in the grave in the grave or or back to hand a green sir just to have that level 8 barber just to just sometimes we need to go first we need to make this which is cool which is good yep uh, the, 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 but Dragonite Fireground Dragonite Fireground and it's a very good card for the negation just to have a level 8 negation just to be in a good situation just to be in a cool good situation with that which is good yep and just to do the same, pretty much just good going first. Same with number three, Tiger Guy Galaxy. When you have two level eights, you can make this two with spell trap cards. This is good against back well every day, which is good, which is cool, which is very handy for the for the right situation. Yep. Yeah. Next is a Linquish Anima. Anima is that one card which does pretty much the same as Bowser and Strip, but you just have to do it in that column, so you end up sucking two monsters as their one, and then you can just set up for more. And it makes it much better, which is cool, which is good. It doesn't matter it has an up bow, you should be linking away with it and using the monster with it too, which is cool. Next is a plant um fair plant uh, link anaconda. So this is just to get the fusion in the grave and you just pay two hours and life plants. You don't use the to make every monster dark, but you can use it to to, to summon a fusion cart the a fusion monster straight from use the tail straight from deck and you're always ready for that setup, which is cool, which is good. Yep, X is Midnight of the Morning Star, just to search for the World Exit card, which is good, which is cool, and then this can be, can, can be not destroyed by cards and not on the same in the same column, and takes no damage. So that comes in quite handy sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when you need that that store, you need to get to your cards all in time. Yep. Next is it the world the world key key way master it's just to move monsters yep just to get the the extender and just to move more monsters in more cards in that right position which is cool which is good which is good thing about this card it's just really handy in the right situation yep next is mask rain just to link off to get to the right monster sometimes you make this with with another card and stuff but not very often you make this so it's quite handy in the right situation which is good and then we've got two nightmares so we've got nightmare phoenix just to pop back row just to get just to get another monster sometimes and then just to be another link farm which is cool which is good uh nightmare newcorn just to remove monsters spells and traps a bit of everything pretty much and we don't get that link effect very often but when we do it's pretty good which is good but also not very often we can summon this but when we do we OTK anyway, which is cool. It's just good to have another monster in the extra deck, which we can make very often. We can make this quite often. We don't need to, but it's good to have it. Absolutely, we need to do something just in case we can't. We need we have to go first, and we have to make this just in case we have to go first. But not very often we get to make this, so so it's very rare you might get the chance to make this, which is a shame. Yeah, then Mech Knight, uh, Crusader Equal Max. Oh, Divine Dragon, that's it. Divine Dragon Knight. Bell Gun, that's it. Met Knight Cruiser, Met Knight Cruiser, Max, just to be, just to be a good beta, just to get absolutely loads of damage, just to get loads of tag, and loads of power, and just to do loads of damage, do, do an OTK essentially like loads, and even when they get rid of this card, kind of shovels it away, and which is really cool, which is really good with this deck, which is good and powerful, would say at least. Okay. And that should be the midnight deck by fire for for deck li deck list for for the twenty eighth of the seventh twenty twenty. I hope you enjoyed my deck file. Subscribe and watch all. 
um, and wash your hands. Oh, I'll be at the sneak peek on the 2nd of August. I'll be at the sneak peek of Rise of the Duelist at, at my local game shop by Top Deck Inn. And if you want to come and join in and take some pictures with me or we can have a duel, go ahead. Okay, I'll be there playing. Okay, ha have a good time. I'll have a good time. Hope I do well. Ho hope, wish me luck. I do well. I hope you enjoy today. Subscribe and watch all. Wash your hands all. Be all right. We'll be we'll be back playing events soon now. Okay, so I hope you subscribe and watch all. And see you all next time. Bye bye.